everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be teaching you this turban design. The material I'll be using for this design is called scuba or foam poly. Some people call it scuba or foam poly. My base measures 22 inches length. What I mean by 22 inches length is my head circumference area. So it's a stretchy fabric. And because of that, I'm not adding any allowance. My head circumference is 22 inches. Whenever, whenever you are using a stretchy fabric, use that stretchy part for your head circumference. So my head circumference is 22 inches. And this head circumference area, I'm not adding any allowance. So I'll be measuring 22 inches length by, 20, by 16 inches width. 22 inches length by 16 inches width. So... That is it for the turban base. So let's go over to the top plate, the design that will be on top of the turban base. That measures 23 inches length. Remember from the stretchy area, 23 inches length by 14 inches width. 23 inches length by 14 inches width. The, the 23 inches length is the stretchy part. And another piece, the loop, that measures 4 inches width by 5.5 inches length. 4 inches width by 5.5 inches length. So for the turban base, and this is the right part and this is the wrong part. So everything I'll be measuring will be on the wrong part so it will not be seen. And I want to measure out my base, my band. Some people cut out their band differently and let that add to the back. But I measured mine together. That is why my width measures 16 inches. So, first thing I will do is to mark out 4. 4 inches. 4 inches. Mark it out. You mark out 4 inches. 4 inches. If you want to, uh, if you want to attach your own differently, you cut out 4 inches differently. And the back will be 12 inches. But I did mine together. There's no need cutting it out. I will sew it up. So what I will do now is to fold. So I will fold, I will, I will to fold that point it down where and there is down and four take it to my inches. sewing machine. I will sew those places I paint down and that will give me my band. So I will sew it down and that will give me my band. Then for the top plate design, the plate that will be on top, first of all, measure half inch. Half inch. Then under the half inch, you measure one and a half inches. You go down, measure again one and a half inches. You shift your hand, measure one and a half inches. You go down again, measure one and a half inches. You continue to measure one and a half inches till you get down, down to where it stops. At, at the end, what you have is half inch. So you leave that one. Don't you forget me. First thing you measure is half inch. Then under it, you continue to measure one and a half inch. Do it for the for the right and the left side. Don't forget me. Do it for the right and the left side. Then come to the middle again and do same thing. Come to the middle and do same thing. Measure half inch. Under the half inch, you shift your hand. Under it, you measure one and a half, one and a half, one and a half till you get to the down part. The reason why I'm measuring, um, well, the reason why I'm taking this measurement is for me to get an accurate split. So you do it for left, middle, and right. So you won't make mistake. You can use your pin. For beginners, pin is advisable here. So what you do is you first of all pick up your the pl first place you measured one and a half. Leave that half inch. That place you measured half inch. Leave it. Don't fold it. So where I picked now to fold is that place I measured one and a half. The first place I marked my one and a half inch. You pick, take your pin and fold it. You fold it left fold middle and you pick up the right side and fold look at what i'm doing closely so i fold it i fold the left side the middle part and the right side that place um i used pin to fold use go to your sewing machine and use quarter inch to sew it just little take little and sew it down sew it down with quarter inch it won't really be more don't take much allowance to sew. just little 
and you see you down. Don't know if you get me. Then we start for the second plate. We've done the first plate. Remember that we left that half inch. We left it. So you start folding the second one. You use your pin, hold the, the left, hold the middle, and hold the right, the right side. Remember that in the first one, we sealed down the first plate. We sealed down, right? But here, don't seal down, please. Here, don't seal. So let's count where we marked out. We'll be getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is eight lines. Then you start from one, two, three. That one, you take it to the third mark that top place you marked out that one is that number one is the half inch don't forget number one is the half inch so take the half inch and drag it down to the second plate which is number three what i mean is take that half inch which is number one to that place you just pinned you know there's there's a line we just pinned down we have not seen it and what we do now is take that number one and drag it to that place you just pinned. What you now do is remove that pin and pin together now. Don't if you get me. Just remove that pin and pin it together. So you seal all together. Ignore the first place you sealed. Please don't touch that first place you sealed down. So you take that number one, that is half inch, and drag it down to that place we pinned down that we have not sealed. You remove the pin there now add all of them together and take to your sewing machine and seal down this is what you get you get something like this so we start pleating others remember you fold and seal down fold and seal down fold and seal down till you get to that last place you marked out when you get that last place you marked out you hold on so i've seen mine and this is the outcome see how it is i just pick little watch and see i picked little just half inch sorry not half just quarter inch small small and see my i told you that when you get to the last line you should hold on so what you do is jump the first plate there's that is second to last plate and drag that place you marked out to the second in fact exactly what you did in the first part do same thing there you jump the second to the last plate and drag that half inch to that the third to the last so i have seen mine and that's how it is so our top design is ready at least the, the top design that will be on top of the turban base is ready and also see my base the turban base is ready to have seen it have seen it so the next thing to do is to make a curve you understand we have to cut the cut you have to cut the turban base to get the curve that is the right side facing each other the two right side facing each other then I'll, I'll measure out um three inches i'll measure out three inches from that down part please arrange it very well so you ensure that they are equal so i, I will mark out three inches from this point look at it very closely just three inches Yes, three inches. So, from that place I marked out, I'll form a curve. I'll form a curve up. I'll form it, then form it again down. So, you form, you take it up and down. And I'll use my scissors to cut it out. So, that place I cut now to give our turban cap a curve shape. So, this is the outcome. You can see it. See the turban cap how it looks the next step is to place the plate that design place it on top of the turban cap but before we do that you take your turban cap make it to be equal and locate the center use a chalk and mark out the middle then um, also take the design that top plate that plate put it together and get the middle as well also get the middle mark it out you now take it to the the pleats place the pleats on top of the turban the turban cap placed on top of it ensure that those two places you marked out are on top of each other then you take your pin you take your pin and 
hold both together. Hold that center, that middle place you marked out together. Then we, uh, what I'm trying to do is to get a good shape for the edge. You know, our turban base, our turban cap is 22 inches length. Why the plate is 23 inches length so 23 inches will be bigger than the 22 inches what you do is drag it backward drag it backward so they will be equal don't if you get me drag the the plate the, the the design backward so it will be equal with the base you understand then use your pin to hold it down yes you hold it down with your pin you drag it back again you know they are not equal and because the other one is 22 and the design is 23 so you drag it back drag it back so it will be equal with the 22. do same thing you did here do it on this right side you drag you drag it back you drag it back so they will be equal you use your pin to hold it down please when you are pinning it down don't pin where you see take your hand inside small you know you know remove the pin so after it's after sewing that you remove the pin so what you do is take it back small Take your hand back inside more and pin down. So you seal down the right and seal down on the left. I'll do mine and show you. So I'm done with mine. See the edges. I've seen it neatly. And see this also. So the left and right edges are ready. So remove the pin and clean off that matte part. Just erase it, clean it off. So I bring this loop. I remember it measures five and a half inches length by four inches width five and a half inches length by four inches width so what we do is that part that is longer the five and a half inches part fold together the right side facing each other you fold it together then you sew i have seen mine and i'll turn it out so that the the front come out all right then i'll take my turban and you i'll fold it into two that is the right side facing each other i'll take the right side facing each other then i'll go to the sewing machine and sew down if it's hard for you you can use your needle and thread but i used my sewing machine i use my sewing machine here and i sew it down ensure that they are equal you sew from the top part so i ensure that it's equal look at it very well so i have sewn it down and this is the outcome of the turban cap. Now, that loop that you sew, you take it and place it inside this plate, this design. Look at what I'm doing. Watch it very well. I use my hand and, and form a plate. Yes, I use my hand and form gathers there. But don't sew. Just form gathers. If you want to sew, you can sew, but I didn't sew mine. The reason why I did this is I can move it to left and right. So, just form gathers. I take the loop. Take that loop. That small loop there. Then, the right side facing each other. See the wrong part. Can you see that same part? So, the right side facing each other and I will seal that part. So, I'm true with mine. I'm true. I'm done sewing. See it. So, what I will do is I will unfold it so it will be hidden. You understand so the right part will show i will turn it out that swim part will also be hidden under it it won't be on top it will be under so see how neat it is so um the remaining the only thing remaining is to form your gathers to form your gathers i will strand my thread to my needle and not the edge then take up the cut turban cap Take up the turban cap and form gathers. You understand what I'm saying? I form gathers from that point, from this point down. Yes. I'll form my gathers. Do a running stitch. Just a running stitch. I form my gathers down. Form it down to this point. Form it down to that point where, it's, where the design stopped. Don't if you get me. So, I run it down. So, you... You sew it down to that place your design stopped. You sew it down to that place and you you hold 
you try to hold the the gathers firm. You understand? Please, why sewing the gathers? Don't drag it much. Don't drag it much. Just give it a little gap. Don't be dragged much. So you tack. What I'm doing now is to tack the gathers, but I'm not dragging it much. I cut out and tie. So I'm true and I just turned it out. Can you see where I stopped? That's where I stopped. I didn't sew it down. So um Autobahn is ready. You can use anything to design. What I'm doing, you can use your pails. You can use your pails to design it. You as in you, you use your candle gum. And when you rub your candle gum, you hold it down there. I'm just trying to show you the designs you can make on yours. It depends on you. You can also use pails to design the down part, as in the band. You can rub your candle gum on your pails and pin it down there. It all depends on you. You can use these pails to embellish the whole body if you want. Or this point, that loop, you can use brush and attach it there a big brush you can use a big brush to attach it there then i can also drag it from left to right if you want it depends so that's why i said i didn't tack mine i didn't tack mine so what you just do is you can drag it from left to right or right to left all depends on you this is the end of this tutorial hope to see you next time thank you